I do? Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I know. I could... Me. Well, maybe I can... No, that won't work either. I got it! Oh man. That won't work either. What am I gonna do? Echo! What am I gonna do? What am I Echo. gonna do? I don't know. Echo! I... Ah! <sighs> Giggles! Don't scare me like that! That was thinking very hard! Well, I'm sorry, Echo, but I called your name three times! What are you thinking about that caused you to never hear me? Well, you see, I... Well, there's this kid that... Giggles, you promise not to laugh? I promise. Well, I have to make a choice right now, and it seems that if I make the right choice, it'll hurt someone's feelings at school. But, but if I make the bad choice, I could help make someone really feel good about themselves. Uh, so what is it? Well, th there's this kid at school who's always being picked on by everyone else. And today, me and some friends pranked him and told him that he would be cool if he wore his underwear on the outside of his pants. <laughs> Well, we told him that, that it's now the new and cool fashion that everyone would like him if he comes to school tomorrow with his underwear on the outside. It was a nasty trick to make him think that it would make him popular. <laughs> well, that's hilarious. I can't wait to see this kid tomorrow. What's his name? Giggles, I told you not to laugh. I know, Echo, but it's so funny. <laughs> well, I thought that at first, too, but... Well, but now I'm not so sure. It's like there's a battle raging in my mind right now. I feel about, I feel bad. I feel bad about telling them that even though it was a joke, uh, I don't know what I should do. Should I call him up and tell him that it was all a joke, which will make him feel bad? Or should I just leave it alone and have him come to school tomorrow dressed like that? <laughs> well, as funny as that may be, Echo, do you think the kid would like it better if you told him it was a prank and warned him about it? Or do you think the kid would like showing up tomorrow, dressed like that, and be the laughing stock of the year? I know! I've asked myself that several times. What would I want someone to do if it was me in their shoes? So, what's your answer? Well, I think I'll... Oh, I don't know, Giggles. Can you help me? Sure I can. Really? Yeah. In fact, I know someone who can help us both. Who? God. God? Yeah. He tells us what we should think about in Romans 8, 5 through 6. It says, For those who live for the flesh set their minds on things of the flesh. But those who live for the Spirit set their minds on things of the Spirit. For to set your mind on things of the flesh is death, but to set your mind on the spirit is life and peace. Golly. So, out of the two choices you have to make, to tell the kid or not tell the kid, which one do you think would bring joy to your flesh? Well, I guess the choice of not telling him so that I can laugh at the funny sight with all the other kids tomorrow. <laughs> and... Which choice would bring joy to the Spirit of God? <sighs> I guess the one that would apologize to him and let him know that it was all a joke so he won't embarrass himself tomorrow. I think you just won the battle in your mind, Echo. Thanks, Giggles. I'll go call Charlie up right now. It was Charlie? <laughs>